Hey everybody, we're looking at another little thing about MIDI today that's in Logic. This is a really cool little trick for when you're using things like the score editor or even if you just don't want to worry about the sustain pedal. So what happens is if you're playing a piano part like this one, let's just play it. So you hear the notes even though there's nothing there. And that's because I use a sustain pedal when I'm playing it. Now that's really natural for me because I played real pianos before I played MIDI pianos. I use a sustain pedal and it's great. What we want to do though is actually show you the easy way to convert this so that it becomes note length instead of the sustain pedal. And that's here inside functions. What we want to do right here, convert sustain pedal to note length. So it's going to get rid of the sustain data and it's going to put that out here in terms of note data. Okay, so let's undo that for one second because I want to show you how this looks in the score. Right now with the score, there's a lot of extra rest here, but they do have the pedal notation here. So you'd have to actually follow the pedal notation. That's as that's not a very common way to do this. The more common way, of course, is to actually go through and have the full notes there. So let's convert that again to note length. Now we'll go into the score and you'll see it looks like it should for this. We could still, if we wanted to, put pedal stuff in there, but we don't have to at this point. And you wouldn't typically do that anyway because for a, something simple like this, the piano player is going to do a lot of that sustain themselves as they're playing this. So I'm not actually holding the notes down every time my pedal was doing a lot of the work. Okay, so just a really quick tip today showing you that one little technique of convert, and again, just in the piano roll, where we're going to convert sustain pedal to note length. So use the pedal all you want, make this step if you want to print it out, or even if you just want to have the performance put into the notes instead of using sustained pedal automation. The other thing that happens with this, let's open that back up for a moment. So say we move this note over, or we move, let's do one of these notes over, just say we're just changing the performance here that data doesn't go with it, at least not by default. So you'd want to actually, in that case, have it converted out to note length for easier editing, visual editing, just makes it a lot more simple and streamlined. You don't have to. You can definitely do this in multiple ways, but that's one of the ways that I prefer. Okay, that's it for today. Just a short one. We'll do another one tomorrow. Hope you're having a great week, and we will do another video soon. Thanks for watching.